I love this book. I think it's so important for people to find purpose in their life and not just kind of wander aimlessly um, through job after job or thinking that exterior, exterior things in your life are what is really important. So this book really, 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 really helps you define for yourself by asking the right questions of yourself what is the purpose of your life? It really is life-changing. I cannot say enough about it. With her latest book, The Purpose of Your Life, international best-selling author Carol Adrian is capturing attention around the world. Well, Carol's terrific. Oh, she's an adventure. Yeah, really. Carol has incredible energy, a lot of beautiful spiritual energy and strength. Carol has tapped into one of the most compelling questions of the 90s. What am I here for? And audiences are responding. Because I'm telling you, America, when you can get this, yes. when you can get it, that even in the midst of whatever, your lost relationships, not knowing who your mother is, going through a crisis, trial, whatever, uh, that it is always happening to you for a reason. Exactly. If we could just get that because we are so prone to want to be victims of everything. Right, right, Victim right. of this, victim of it's all a choice. It's all a soul choice. It frees you from the victimization. Absolutely. And you have the most power. Well, she always has a lot of wit and wisdom mixed together in a very uh, charming and fascinating package. She really manages to be entertaining and full of... Uh, Good information. The first thing I tell people who come to my classes, by the way, is everybody comes in and they think, okay, I'm coming to this class so I can get clarity. Once I get clarity, then I can take my moves. I'll make my moves, I'll take my steps, I'll start my new program. Forget it. Forget clarity. I'm going to tell it over and over and over again. Forget it. You think about this. You know, all right, I'm right. I didn't make this up. I learned this the hard way. You don't have clarity going in on something new, do you? Your mind isn't, doesn't want clarity. Your mind wants a guarantee. Be willing to live in uncertainty. One of the best things you can learn on the spiritual path is don't, you don't have to have it all figured out going in. Just stay alert. Stay in present time. Do what's required of you. And when you feel strongly about something, take an action. Through her appearances on national and local radio and television programs, and in speaking engagements and workshops, thousands of people are discovering how to find their place in the world with Carol's simple yet profound ideas. If you're not feeling joyful or connected or feel like your work has meaning, then you need to ask yourself, what am I really doing here? So feelings are important. And I also want to say, too, you know, that... Uh, your purpose in life is not a job title. And I think a lot of us start to think that we have to get the right job or the hot job or the thing that makes the most money, and we go off down a road on another idea about money or about achievement or status and not about what we really, really like to do. Carol is co-author with James Redfield of the Celestine Prophecy and Tent Insight Experiential Guides. She brings a wealth of down-to-earth stories of real people that truly connect with her audience. In city after city, audiences are captivated. She can relate to every single person in the audience. Carol Adrian is going to help us out a little bit, and you have a little story you want to share with us right now. Right. One of my favorite stories in the book is a man who, whose father told him early in life that if he wasn't born with a silver spoon in his mouth, he was going to have to work every day of his life and he was going to have to work for someone else and I think we often get early messages like that that clamp down on our our ambitions and what we can expect of out of life so we get you know limited early in life by these beliefs and we don't try so we have to really open up to the idea that we do have a purpose inside ourselves it is going to come out and it is going to bring into our lives the opportunities that we need to fulfill it it's also allowed me to look at stepping into what I really love. It was great. I really feel like I have brought so, I, I can take so much from her and bring that home and, and work with it. No matter what your occupation or age, her seven principles are simple and highly effective tools that everyone can use every day to become more conscious of their own unique purpose. Here's one. This is principle number five is um, commit yes 
there's a lot of us out there who will try many different things and we're you know, dabbling, dabbling, dabbling. And yet at some point, if you're going to be on purpose, you have to commit to something and take a step and really stay with that for a while. Like the lady you talked about with the job that wasn't going anywhere. Right, she just, right. As you said, she turned towards her job. Yes, exactly. Okay. Uh, assume, I like this one. This I love. Assume synchronicities or life coincidences, life coincidences are coming your way. Yes. Explain what synchronicity means. Well, it's, you know, it's those, things, uh, those wonderful times when a door opens and you just can't imagine. So be aware that they exist exactly. and more will happen. Okay. I hear it all the time. Carol's inspiring stories, her warm and human approach, and her compelling insights make her a highly requested speaker and television and radio guest. You really want to be at home with yourself, to be as authentic as you can be, to really say and notice what it is that makes you feel excited to get up in the, up in the morning, you know, and know that you have the right to do that. That is your birthright, to get up and be ready to roll and be out there offering what your gift is. Every single person in here has a, a gift or a talent. You were born with it, you, and then you were amplified that with your... Um, experiences everything in your life that you've had experience with up till now every instance in your life has had a purpose I will be thinking about what she said a lot this this is big I know it is this big. is revolutionary That's why I'm here tonight yeah it is big here's how you can book Carol Adrian today